another mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing. A bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. Deep in the heart of the Pacific Northwest lies a place of unparalleled mystery. It's a place where the laws of physics seem to bend and reality itself becomes blurred. For decades, Mel's Hole has been a source of fascination and speculation among conspiracy theorists, scientists, and curious adventurers alike. Some claim it's a portal to another dimension, while others believe it conceals ancient artifacts or even the gateway to the underworld. But despite the numerous tales and legends, one question remains unanswered. What lies at the bottom of Mel's Hole? So join us as we explore why scientists recently dropped a camera in Mel's Hole and how what they captured shocked the whole world. The depths of mystery and terror. In the year 2017, a team of courageous researchers embarked on a quest to uncover the enigmatic mystery of Mel's Hole. After years of speculation and rumors, they finally found the exact location of this notorious void. With great anticipation, they lowered a camera down into its depths, hoping to capture its secrets on film. What they encountered, however, left them entirely dumbfounded. The images that greeted them were beyond anything they could have imagined. It was as if they had stumbled upon something out of a nightmare, something that defied rational explanation. At that moment, they realized that their very lives were in jeopardy. As they quickly retreated from the scene, their minds raced with questions. What dark forces lurked within Mel's hole? What secrets lay hidden in its immeasurable depths? It was a mystery that begged to be unraveled, a challenge that beckoned them to delve deeper into the unknown. Mel's hole itself was a marvel to behold. A circular pit measuring nine feet in diameter seemed to defy the laws of nature. Surrounding it was a stone retaining wall, adding an air of ancient charisma to the scene. And yet, despite its threatening appearance, there was an undeniable attraction to the depth that drew people in Melwater, who, along with his wife, had been the first to deposit items into the void. But they were not alone in their fascination. Neighbors from far and wide had contributed to this peculiar pit, adding to its mystique over the years. Indeed, some claimed that the hole had always been there, a fixture of the landscape long before Mel's arrival. But what truly baffled the researchers was not just the existence of Mel's Hole, but the strange phenomena that seemed to surround it. Whispers of unexplained occurrences and inexplicable happenings only added to the intrigue. It was a puzzle unlike any they had encountered before, and one that demanded their full attention. As Mel's Hole awaits, ready to reveal its secrets to those who are brave enough to uncover them, it is a story of curiosity and courage, of daring exploration and the relentless pursuit of truth. And who knows what wonders, of horrors, await those who dare to venture into its mysterious depths. But when objects plummet into this mysterious chasm, there is no sound, no hint of a bottom. Mel Waters, a man of insatiable curiosity and determination, found himself drawn to this enigma. Armed with his inquisitive spirit and a plethora of fishing gear, he embarked on a quest to unravel its secrets. Beside, an expedition on measuring the real depth of the hole was carried out. Mel, an avid fisherman, devised a plan to measure the true depth of this bottomless pit. With spools of fishing line in abundance and a hefty weight, he lowered his makeshift apparatus into the void. To his astonishment, it descended a staggering 4,500 feet, the entire length of the reel, without encountering the slightest resistance. Undeterred by this revelation, Mel persisted. He replaced the weight with a roll of lifesavers, hoping to find water below. Unfortunately, his hopes were dashed as the candies emerged from the depths, untouched by moisture. Nevertheless, he pressed on, connecting spool after spool of fishing line, delving to depths nearing 10,000 feet, yet still finding no bottom in sight. Despite his valiant efforts, the mysterious hole remained steadfast in its refusal to yield its secrets. And in his pursuit, Mel stumbled upon a curious observation. His faithful canine companions, usually steady in their loyalty, withdrawn from the hole as if sensing an invisible force that repelled them. Even when urged, 
they steadfastly refused to dig their paws into the earth surrounding the void. Stranger still was the absence of wildlife and insects in the vicinity. While birds circled above, seemingly cool, the area surrounding the hole remained weirdly barren of life. It was an occurrence that puzzled Mel to no end, prompting him to delve deeper into the mysteries that shrouded this enigmatic hole. Neighbors shared concerning stories about their dog's behavior near the hole, all reporting similar eerie reactions. One neighbor recounted a chilling tale. After his dog passed away, he laid its body to rest in the hole. Days later, he spotted the same dog alive wearing its familiar collar, yet acting as if it didn't recognize him. Scientists discovered that, in 1997, Mel turned to Coast to Coast AM with Art Bell, a radio show renowned for discussing the paranormal. With Art's vast audience, Mel's tale of the mysterious hole captivated listeners worldwide. As Mel shared more details, he received advice on measuring the hole's depth, but with the exposure came a downside. The U.S. military intervened, seeking control over the enigmatic phenomenon. Following the Friday night show, Mel observed increased helicopter activity around his property, which persisted into the next day. He noted peculiar effects of the hole on its surroundings. Animals avoided it while plants flourished and radios malfunctioned, picking up distant broadcasts. One day, Mel's radio turned into an old baseball game from 1967, sparking confusion. During Art's initial conversation with Mel, Lasting about an hour, Mel called from Ellensburg. Upon returning home, Mel encountered a roadblock manned by armed military personnel, citing a supposed plane crash. Despite no evidence of a crash, Mel was denied access until an investigation was completed. Threats of implicating him in a drug operation loomed if he resisted. In defiance, Mel considered going to the press, but the official dismissed his threats, confident no one would believe him. However, Art Bell and his audience would. A few days later, Art contacted Mel for an update, learning of a neighbor witnessing a mysterious dark beam emanating from the hole, shrouded in an unprecedented darkness. Mel himself didn't see any of this, but according to Art Bell and several callers, this part of Washington is a hotspot for UFO sightings, disappearances, and other strange occurrences. Some callers speculated about the hole being on a ley line, like a magical pathway to another dimension, or even through time. They believed anything thrown into it simply vanished, accumulating in a mysterious pile in an alternate reality. A heap of garbage, old appliances, and unfortunate animals. One caller even suggested it might be a tunnel to the hollow earth, like a subway system of sorts. The theories kept flowing in. Unable to access his property anymore, Art Bell sought information from locals. An elderly neighbor mentioned that there used to be stone columns around the hole, adding more mystery to the tale. The audience cautioned Mel about the risks of calling into the show, as the government might be listening. Eventually, Mel promised to return with an update, but he never showed up. Television crews went to Ellensburg to investigate, finding no hole, but they did uncover military blueprints and evidence hinting at military involvement in the area. Three years later, Mel claims he was offered a hefty sum of money to lease his property, with the condition of signing a non-disclosure agreement, leaving the country immediately and never returning. Surprisingly, Mel accepts the offer, adding yet another layer of intrigue to the story. Mel decides to set up shop in Australia for a couple of years, seeking a change of scenery. However, despite the allure of new adventures, he begins to feel the tug of homesickness, missing his family dearly. Against warnings, he sneaks back into the States for a visit. During his visit, Mel plans to spill the beans on the radio with Art Bell, but he mysteriously never shows up. He later recounts that on the scheduled day, he boarded a bus to visit his nephew, but chaos erupted. Police arrived, questioning everyone and shuffling them onto a different bus. Then, in a bizarre twist, Mel experiences a blackout losing 12 entire days of his life. He awakens in a San Francisco alley, disoriented and disheveled. His wallet and keys are gone, and his arm throbs painfully. Upon closer examination, he discovers needle marks and tape residue from an IV on his arm. 
As he comes to, he tastes blood in his mouth and realizes his back teeth are missing. The eerie circumstances surrounding his blackout leave him shaken and bewildered. Mel's return to the property is thwarted by legal issues, facing charges for unauthorized construction and infrastructure. Despite his innocence in placing them, the government seizes his land for two years, leaving Mel with nothing. Adding insult to injury, shortly after reaching out to Art's show, his bank account is drained. While many dismiss Mel's story as a hoax, Art Bell, known for his love of storytelling, allows him to share his tale. Mel mentions a TV crew searching for the elusive hole, finding signs of military activity instead. The mystery deepens as the no-fly zone expands, and online maps show the area blacked out. Some speculate Mel fabricated owning the blacked out area, but this theory falls apart as the mapping site launched after Mel's initial call. A Native American tribe invites Mel to Nevada to assist in researching another bottomless hole. Though discussions involve Native Americans and the Bosk, a European ethnic group, assurances are made regarding Mel's safety. Mel witnesses the second hole firsthand, sparking curiosity about its contents. Unlike the first hole, this one lies on public land used by the Bosque, originating from the region between France and Spain. The question remains, what secrets lie beneath the Earth's surface? The Bosque, a group settled in Nevada since the mid-1800s, have been using the land for sheep herding. They consider the hole sacred, believing it has existed for over 200 years, measuring just over nine feet wide. Unlike Mel's hole with a stone retaining wall, this one has a metal collar stretching as far as the eye can see. What's peculiar is that the hole radiates warmth, and the metal collar seems unique. When Mel accidentally drops a tool on it, there's no sound or vibrations, just an eerie silence. Intrigued, Mel and the boss conduct experiments. They lower a bucket of ice about 1,000 feet deep while keeping some ice at the surface as a control. When they retrieve the bucket, they find the ice inside didn't melt, nor did it feel cold or wet. Instead, it resembled large pieces of salt and even caught fire when exposed to flame, burning for months. Further experiments show that about two-thirds of the time, ice melts normally, but sometimes it undergoes a mysterious transformation. Curious, a Bosque volunteer descends into the hole, but sensing danger, they decide to send a sheep down instead. The sheep, seemingly aware of something strange, resists as it's lowered. After 30 minutes, when the sheep is brought back up, it appears unchanged, but upon closer inspection, it's lifeless. The experience left them stunned, evoking feelings of wonder and even hinting at something beyond the ordinary, almost like a religious experience. The Bosque, skilled in sheep butchering, wasted no time in conducting a swift autopsy on the mysterious sheep. Brace yourself for what they found. As they examined the sheep, they made a chilling discovery. It seemed as if the sheep had been cooked from the inside out, but the most shocking revelation was yet to come. Inside the sheep's body cavity loomed a colossal tumor. What's more surreal is that the tumor showed signs of life, moving on its own. To unravel this mystery, they decided to cut open the tumor. What they found inside left them utterly astonished. Within the tumor resided. Imagine this, a creature resembling a baby seal, connected to the tumor by an umbilical cord, but with eyes that seemed almost human. This seal-like being crawled towards the edge of the table, its gaze fixated on the mysterious hole. Acting on instinct, Mel gently placed the creature near the edge. It felt slimy to the touch and emitted a strange smell of ozone. For about two hours, the men and the creature observed each other in a peculiar exchange. Then, as if sensing a finality, the seal creature gave a parting glance and leaped into the hole. Before Mel's journey to Nevada, he had received a grim diagnosis, advanced esophageal cancer, with only six months to live. Yet, after this otherworldly encounter, Mel miraculously becomes cancer-free. He believed that the magical seal held the key to his inexplicable recovery. It was a transformative experience that changed him to his core. As the radio show neared its end, a stern warning reverberated across the airwaves. The road leading to Mel's property was there, 
but it carried an ominous air. Listeners were warned to stay away, as going beyond that point could result in dire consequences, even a potential disappearance into the unknown. Several months later, Mel returned to coast to coast, sharing the aftermath of the strange ice experiments. One of the Bosque individuals used the burning ice for warmth in his cabin, unaware of the bizarre consequences to follow. The ice remained ablaze for months, sucking moisture from the air and leaving the cabin unnaturally dry. The inhabitants suffered from constantly dry skin and an unquenchable thirst. Even boiling water behaved strangely, as the steam inexplicably vanished into the stove. Then, unexpectedly, the stove crashed through the cabin floor, sinking into the ground below yet still emitting heat. The pragmatic solution was to patch up the floor and make use of the stove, despite its peculiar behavior. Weeks later, the cabin, supported by this makeshift solution, collapsed into dust. The bewildered owner sought refuge with his brother. Upon returning a month later, he encountered a peculiar sight. The stove, once above ground, now lay five feet below. Astonishingly, the stove had inadvertently created a new, baby bottomless hole, its surface flawlessly smooth. Attempts to retrieve the stove were futile until a massive crane intervened, successfully pulling the perplexing appliance from the depths below. Adding to the mystery, the Bosque individuals shared encounters with the entity known as the Magic Seal, discovered in the hole. Seen as a benevolent presence, the Magic Seal held spiritual significance for the Bosque, forging a deep connection with the unexplainable forces at play. Remarkably, brightly colored birds, seemingly immune to harm, now circled the area, adding another layer of intrigue to the enigma. In response to what seemed like a spiritual encounter, the Bosque interpreted the magical seal's presence in a unique way. They believed the seal communicated with them through a system of beeps and clicks over the radio, a language they claimed to understand. According to them, the creature warned about the dangers of the ice, emphasizing its potential for catastrophic consequences if mishandled. Art, captivated by this claim, sought evidence of the communication, and Bosk delivered, providing recordings of the alleged interactions. After discussing various theories on the radio show, Art convinced Mel to return, promising to gather all possible evidence, including recordings, photos, and videos. However, after the call ended, Mel went silent. He didn't respond to Art's attempts to contact him, and eventually, the line was cut. Five years passed, marking the end of Mel's whole story, leaving behind a multitude of unanswered questions. While TerraServer kept that part of Washington blacked out, Google Earth later revealed it. If the military truly took over the property, they would have likely hidden the hole. Despite years of searching, many locations emerged, but one on Google Maps stood out. Someone visited the location and documented what they found. During one of Mel's phone calls, he mentioned two old buildings on the property, with one eventually collapsing under snow, matching the description. Additionally, there's an intriguing hole about nine feet wide with a stone retaining wall, just as Mel described. This discovery caused a buzz online, but the excitement faded when the hole turned out to be an old well with a definitive bottom. Many claim to have found Mel's hole, but it remains elusive for now. Now Mel himself was a character as mysterious as the hole. Records don't show anyone named Mel or Melvin Waters living in the area, leading some to speculate he used a false name to protect his identity. However, the story's credibility takes a hit due to the lack of photographs. Despite Art pressing Mel for them, Mel sometimes forgets or claims camera interference near the hole. Even if it were a hoax, Mel never monetized anything, which is unusual. Some argue that Mel's story became increasingly strange, leading him to abandon it. However, he remained consistent with the facts over five years, and despite Art's attempts to trip him up, he couldn't. Yet, the hole itself poses a geological improbability. A hole many miles deep would collapse unless it's a bottomless gateway to another dimension. But the truth remains elusive. Whether Mel's hole has believers, Art Bell might not have been one of them. Still, as an entertainer, Art knew this was the kind of story his listeners loved, a legend people still discuss 30 years later.
In 2017, paranormal enthusiasts and those captivated by Mel's legendary story joined forces. Armed with GoPro cameras, lights, and strings, they sought to catch a sight into this mythical hole. Following coordinates from a Reddit post, they arrived at a random farm potentially linked to Mel's hole. Confronted by the profound depth of the chasm, they resorted to throwing rocks, adding to the mystique of the legendary hole. Through binoculars, they spotted a mysterious figure observing them from a distance. Before reviewing their camera footage thoroughly, an urgent sense pushed them to leave hastily. The discovery of a beetle down the vast hole marked a symbolic moment, emphasizing the profound depth of the unknown that endlessly captivates the human spirit. Beyond unraveling Mel's whole mystery, the expedition delved into metaphorical layers, reflecting humanity's fascination with the unknown. It echoed themes of exploration, curiosity, and the timeless pursuit of mystery. What are your thoughts on this mysterious discovery in the depth of Mel's hole? Please let us know your opinion in the comment section. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.